Welcome back. Today I'll be doing a Madden Mobile 24 Beginner's Guide for all of you guys who are just starting out on the game. And if you have played the game before, you can still follow along because there is some stuff that you can do just starting off that could be new or familiar to you that you might want to start doing. And if you're new, you might want to listen up because you can get a lot of currencies throughout the game plus players to help out your team and help out your Madden Mobile 24 journey. So let's first start off with core. I think this is a very important one because of Madden journey. If you're just starting off, it's something you should look forward to completing. So you have like an idea of how the game works. It's a tutorial basically on different events. So you have your practice, your passing. I did rushing. There is practice running and passing. There is master your skills and play the full quarter game. You do get a player out of there, which is pretty nice. You either get any of those two players. I mean, you don't get the best rewards, but it could help you a little bit. And if you have played the game, you don't need to do it. But still, I'd say complete the man journey so it just disappears and it's not just there. So just get rid of it, really. And uh, it's a tutorial for you beginners. Madden base is kind of the same, but kind of different because there's no four events anymore. There's three on three on three so three coin ones three training points three player ones and you can auto now like each before you couldn't auto the first three now you can auto each and every one 20 times and then the last one is 20 again it's obviously a lot for the last one because you get more coins also if your overall reward tier is pretty high which i feel like you should be in silver if you're first starting off i mean throughout the game you'll probably go up in tiers but you will get less at a low tier if you keep grinding you'll get up there get more coins get more training points get higher chances at players i say do the coin ones maybe do a little bit of the training point i don't think the player ones are that worth it because you won't get the best players but the coins will be good because you can trade in the coins for players or take them and level up players as well on your team but that's all up to you journey is very important i'm on journey stage three Right now in Madden Mobile 24, if you're just starting off, you should be around like a 1,800 or a 1,900 overall. When you're definitely grinding, you'll get back up a lot. Maybe you'll head into 1,900 or something or 2,000. I have no clue. Depending on your pack look too, you could pull some crazy pulls and it will help you a ton. Or you can trade players in and get some stuff throughout the trades. Now, if you already played Madden Mobile 23, you should have like a 2,400 through a 2,900 overall. Maybe it's a little higher. Maybe it's a little lower than that. I have no clue. I can complete three journey stages like I'm almost gonna complete my third journey stage but once I'm done with this I can't really do the next one maybe I could do like one or two of the next one but it ends at 2720 I'm 2777 but journey is very helpful if you complete one journey stage of 30 events you can get around 200,000 plus coins and 500 plus mana cash per 30 events for that one journey stage which is insane that's a huge jump because you can either save up the coins and save up the amount of cash and buy packs and bundles with that. So Journey is very helpful and will get you a huge head start in Madden Mobile 24. Coach Academy is actually pretty nice because we got coaches in the game finally. There is more things around the playbooks and how things work now. Now you got coaches on the team to help out the players with the coaches actually being free. You can complete all four of these coaches and put them on your team. Now, you do have a job mat on your team, which does all the schemes. But if you want one of these four coaches, you can do that. I don't know if they'll add more coaches in Madden Mobile 24 later on. We'll have to wait and find out. But if you're a run heavy person, you'll get Dable. If you're a short pass, you'll get Robert. If you're a long pass, you'll get Campbell. And if you're a spread, you'll get Jonathan. Just like that. But then again, complete it all. You can just play them. Three of the events you can just play. I mean, you do get headsets and coins, which is nice. So you can do that very easily. I do want to go back into Journey to talk about one thing and one thing only. If you grind throughout this, you will get XP, which will then go ahead and help you to get up levels. How you check your levels out is you click on your nameplate where your name and overall is. Then you check your level. I'm a level seven, almost a level eight. Every time you go up levels, you get mana cash and your program stamina cap goes up. So I'm at a 230 for my program stamina cap. It started off at 200, so I got a plus 30 by getting to level seven. I think it caps out at 230. I also pretty sure it goes up five each level or something like that. So 
it'll cap out pretty soon but you still get mana cash for going up every level you can get xp throughout journey and also xp throughout your daily goals daily goals is a huge help you got to complete all of your daily goals every single day is going to be the most important thing you'll get coins mana cash xp it's going to be very helpful now when you complete your daily goals you also want to go ahead and grind the game to get your limited ones done as well and that's just by leveling up players and spending mana cash or acquiring iconic players or epic players or rare players in general you'll get epic players out of it you'll get iconic players you get mana cash you get coins and if you complete a lot of it so it's like when the total goes up you'll get more coins you'll get more mana cash out of it you'll get more iconics more epics more iconics and yeah so that's later down the road but at the start you'll get a couple of you know rare players epic players some coins some mana cash thrown at you by just grinding throughout the game which is very nice and when a promo's out there should be achievements for that promo and you obviously want to grind the promo in general let's just say for a promo you're gonna want to go ahead and do the overall gated ones the overall challenges because i think those are the most important ones because you do get stamina you do get players it does help you out a lot obviously if your overall is low it's going to be tough to do them and also play every first win never auto always do first win before you auto that's very important and then complete your achievements throughout every promo that's like the number one thing you should always do next we're going to go into trades and talk about some trades you should be doing which are some core trades now there's player core trades which you can have old players from Madden mobile 23 that you can trade here you can have newer players obviously if you're a beginner you will have newer players you can trade newer uncommons for the rare players then take the rare players put them in for the epics then take the epics and then put them in for the iconics now when you get iconics you're obviously going to want to put them on your team but let's just say you claim some iconics you don't like them you can definitely trade two in for a select and select your iconics but that's all up to you at the end of the day i say if you're new to starting the game you're gonna want to go ahead and just put those iconics on your team they are base iconics and make sure you grind the promo because you're gonna want these iconics they're high overall higher than the base ones so it's gonna be important to grind the promo so you can go ahead and get those and add them on your team especially when a promo is like two weeks long you can definitely get like two iconics out of that 100 percent now resources is pretty nice let's just say later down the road in Madden mobile 24 you have extra iconics or maybe a duplicate and you don't need it you can put it in for trading points and coins you can put it in for weights and coins or you can put it in for headsets and coins so yeah the headsets will help you for the coaches the weights will help you for the boost and the trading points will help you for the leveling up i mean you do get a decent amount of coins and the currencies throughout that so it will definitely help you later on when you do pull duplicates or maybe you pull duplicates right away in the beginning i mean then you can go ahead and do that it is all up to how your grind goes so it just depends on that now i'm gonna throw a bunch of stuff into one you have the unlimited arena which honestly if you're low overall it's gonna be tough playing it plus it unlocks in three days then the league honestly i just join if i was you a random league i mean my league is full but if you're starting off new just join a random one try to join an active one i mean creating one is going to be tough if you're just starting off so good luck with that and i think the last and final thing is weight room unless i can find some other stuff and just throw it in to show you things throughout the game weight room is very important you're going to grind throughout the game get weights also stack up coins throughout wherever you can get coins which is possibly your journey daily goals and madden base now you'll just activate it when you get enough where you can just boost your overall which if you boost your overall you can play those overall challenges in the promo that's out you can go ahead and play more journey events i mean it's only active for a couple hours depending on how you upgraded it if you're level five you'll have more time on it. if you're as i have a level three you have 48 hours on it if you're a level two you'll have 36 hours on it i mean the more mana cash you put into one of these boosts for a certain uh, or a couple of positions you have more hours on that boost activated to grind throughout the game i mean it helps you a ton to complete different things that are overall gated throughout the game so it will help you a lot i mean some random things i could throw into the mix is if you're new to the game you have your players your items your unclaims your wallet there's also albums and stuff which you can go ahead and check out which to get to that you will have to click on your name tag and then go over and click albums it will be by your uniforms and helmets and all that other stuff 
and then there'll be albums of the players which you can see on um, what players you collect throughout the promo to then go ahead and get the logo or to then go ahead and get the nameplate obviously the nameplate's gonna be a little bit easier to get because you can definitely claim all the rares and uncommons and the logo might be a little bit of a stretch but still it's not out of reach we also got the store which is pretty nice that we have some free stuff in there if you click on deals and scroll down you will see these watch ad packs you can watch an ad for an all pro pack a pro pack and some coins i mean if you go ahead and open the pro pack and pull an epic that's the best you can get out of it if you open an all pro pack and pull an iconic that's the best you can get out of it i mean that's good it's better off to watch the ad than to not watch the ad plus for promos i mean these should reset like every day the stamina does reset every day at 10 30 a.m eastern i think the some of the packs might not reset i think they reset every like two days some of them do i think that's the old pro pack i think the pro pack does a one day reset thing i'm not too sure it also depends on when you open it, i think but you can do the 50 stamina one which is pretty nice and then the pack ones which can help you in the long run and i'm pretty sure this is the last and final thing that i have to kind of explain if you want to go ahead and find where season mode is there is a home thing in the right hand corner click on that it will bring you outside you can click on seasons you can play season mode and if you want to go back just click back and it'll bring you back to this tab you can click on ultimate team get back to your ultimate team and that's really everything for Madden mobile 24 i hope you guys did enjoy i hope this helped a ton i explained everything throughout the game which you can go ahead and do to get your hands on a bunch of currencies and a bunch of players to help your overall get up and to help yourself grind throughout the beginning of your journey of the new season. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.